Here's how I can distort your text with the envelope distort correctly in Adobe Illustrator. Seems like nobody could figure out how to do this 100% correctly, so I decided to test it out even more, and actually I succeeded, so let's see how I did it. All right, so step one, let's select the circle, press and hold shift plus alt, create a circle. And from here, I'm gonna go and select the knife tool, and I'm just gonna cut these in pieces like this, make it nice and curvy. And I'm also gonna do another one, which is gonna be really small. There you go. I'm gonna select all, I'm gonna go to the fill, click on the none, click on the stroke, so it's gonna be on the top. Now let's go to the stroke settings, and I'm gonna put the align stroke to the center. And I'm gonna need to offset the shape, so I'm gonna have some distance in between these wavy lines. So I'm gonna go down, and here we got the offset path, click on it. And I'm gonna increase the offset, so this way we're gonna have a bigger distance in between these shapes. I'm gonna go with 13, and as you can see, not every ending is connecting. For example, this one is cut off. So I'm gonna go to the meter limit, and I'm gonna increase it. So as you can see now it's spiked out, click OK, let's select everything again, press Shift plus M or you can go to the Shape Builder tool, press and hold Alt and this way you can delete the unnecessary shapes, all you need to do is just drag it with the mouse, draw with the mouse and it's going to delete the unnecessary shapes. After you're done you're going to need to delete the duplicates, for example if I remove this you can see we got another shape under it, so I'm going to select all, I'm going to swap it from stroke to fill and I'm just going to select the top ones, press and hold shift select everything and I'm going to delete what's under and put it back to the center. I'm going to swap it back and as you can see we got these imperfections here and here and also at the bottom, so we're going to need to correct those and I'm going to go and select the delete anchor point tool and let's go to the imperfect areas press and hold shift and I'm gonna go and click and this way it's gonna delete the anchor points but the line is gonna remain curvy. I'm gonna do the same with the rest I'm just gonna clean up everything here make everything nice and curvy. It looks something like this and from here we're gonna select the type tool and I'm gonna type in separately three words, so this is going to be the first one, press and hold alt, drag it down, and I'm going to do the second one, not but least the third one, which is going to go here, something shorter, and I'm also going to change the font, I'm going to go with mango, extra bold, and I'm going to roll with these, also make sure that the text is on the bottom, so I'm going to select all the text, right click, arrange, send to back, and for example I'm going to select the vision text, I'm going to press and hold shift, also select the shape, and I'm going to go to the object, envelope distort, and select make with top object. And that's how it's going to look, but I'm going to press ctrl z. Now there's like a major issue where this envelope distort is not working correctly. And in this example we also have that issue. So I'm going to select the first text, press and hold shift, and I'm going to select the top shape, do the same thing, object, envelope distort, select make with top object. And as you can see, it made a total mess. I'm going to press Ctrl Z. And here all you need to do is select the whole object and rotate it. So I'm going to rotate it something like this. And I'm going to select both. Let's test it out again. Envelope distort make with top object. And check this out, it worked. Now I'm going to press Ctrl Z and I'm going to test it out with two or three positions actually, just to see how it's going to perform. So I'm going to rotate this one even further. Third one more on the left, and the fourth one even more on the right. And I'm going to test them out. So these are the four results, I think the third one looks the best here. And I'm going to test out the rest of the text as well with every each. And there they are, and for example let's say I like this one, and I'm going to delete the rest, and I like this text right here, delete the rest. And here what I'm going to do is create a new copy, go to object, envelope distort, release, and I'm going to select the shape, delete the text, let's select it, right click, arrange, send to back, and I'm going to position the favorite typos that I liked, I'm also going to rotate them. It doesn't need to be perfect, and the last one. So pretty much this is how I did it. If you want to rename the text, all you need to do is just double click on and select the typo, and you can rename it however you like. And this was it, hope it helped, thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.